strong this year, adding passing as well. And with Eggleston gone, she's really stepped in and taken charge. Texas 11-1 all-time against Ohio State, including going 3-0 against them last year in the 3-1 victory in the regional final. So here we go underway from Gregory Jim. And there is that Texas block. Asia O'Neill getting things started for the Longhorns who come in at four and two on the year. Not a bad way to start this game off with a huge block. They are out here to play. Texas coming off one of the most impressive wins of non-conference play against Rice, sweeping the Owls for Ohio State. Three and four on the year. They're in the midst of a brutal trip right now. Seven straight matches against ranked opponents. Six currently in the top ten. And they are trying to snap a four-game skid. Riley Raider. Swindle with the dump. The freshman has been getting better and better every match. I like that dump and I like the face after fierce and ready. She goes up looking like she's going to set selling it so the blockers don't even take a look at her and that is wide open. See the confidence building for her. From match to match Skinner serving. Wenis and O'Neill were there again. And again huge middle blocker Asia O'Neill coming over to close the block. Their hands, they're getting up so high, pressing over, crossing the net before the ball even crosses it over. Defense leading the way for the Longhorns so far this season. Skinner diving for that one. Wenis. That one deflected off of Barnes and Ohio State with their first point of the night for Ohio State. This is a very different team than the one Texas saw last year. They lost five starters due to the portal scholarship limitations related to the extra COVID year. So they are an extremely young team surrounding Londot this season. There's one of the freshmen. Round Rock native Murphy with the serve. And tooling the block is Wenis. That's a smart play by Jenna Wenis. Tooling the block, getting the point. There's the players. A lot of production State. lost. A lot of veterans, great players that added a lot to this program. And again, just they're all each doing well. Gabby Gonzalez had a big game against Ohio State the other night. Swooping in. That one whizzed past the head of Skinner, but too strong from Londot. Yeah, those five starters who transferred, they would have had to become walk-ons if they wanted to stay at Ohio State. There just wasn't room with a big freshman class coming in. And now kind of a rebuilding year around Londot, at least early on. Texas wrapping up non-conference play with tonight's matchup. And then they welcome number 11 Washington State to town tomorrow night. I think every night you're getting a top ranked team playing a top ranked team it seems. Busy 24 hours from Gregory Jim Madison Skinner. She was dominant in the last outing against Rice. 19 kills, a number of attacks out of the back row. And I watched that interview after your game Monday, and one thing she said is she and Ella Swindle have been working on that connection at practice, staying after working on those reps. And when you have a new young freshman setter, it's all about those reps and getting comfortable with your connection. There's that freshman setter, Swindle with the serve. Thorpe out of play. We talked to Jared Elliott this week. He said, yeah, it's been a whirlwind. You had Madison Skinner, who was sick for a while. You had Asia O'Neill, who was injured, missed the first two matches. So everybody, again, with the new freshman center, developing that chemistry early on. Swindle. And it drops in there. Ella Swindle now with eight aces on the year. Well, I'm seeing a lot of flat, powerful serves coming out of the back line from Texas. Good hand on the ball, and they're just trying to skim the top of the net, and that's what will happen sometimes when you get a nice ace. Eight all coming in the last five matches. 
Kelsey Thorpe. Good attack by Thorpe. Now those initial blocks we saw from Texas rattled the hitters a bit from Ohio State because they've made a few hitting errors. That one smart decision by Thorpe going off those high hands and that's exactly what Ohio State will need to do to beat this Texas block. Thorpe with nine underclassmen on this young Ohio State team. When is denied. When is hitting 227 on the year the transfer from Minnesota. A familiar face for the Buckeyes playing against her in the Big Ten all last year. Caitlin Hoffman, freshman out of Michigan. Phillips sends it over. In the middle, dropped in, no pancake, but ultimately Ohio State gets the point. Riley Raider coming in for this quick three, a little bit low, but she gets under that, lifts it up over the block and puts it in a perfect spot. Love both Texas Longhorns going for that ball, but just not enough. Raider, the former All-American a couple of years ago, and that one drops in there. Ohio State going on a 4-0 run, pulling within one. Like that cross-court serve right now from Hoffman. She's going to try to attack Skinner, make her have to pass the ball, get this offensive go offense going. Swindle. Ray Phillips. Thorpe hammers one off of Phillips. Free ball, Buckeyes. Thorpe holds up. Phillips. Chelsea Thorpe with the point, and we are tied at eight. Well, both of these teams scrambling, going for the ball, wanting to keep it alive. We're going to see some long rallies and a lot of power in the end if they can get by these big blocks we're seeing from both sides. Chelsea Thorpe. Thorpe. They have the sophomore moving to the left side this season, doing some damage early here in Austin. She gets the second most sets for this team after Londot. Really grown over the past year, Coach Flynn Oldenburg said. Really happy with her progress. Said she's coming in this weekend against Texas, see what she's made of. In the middle, Bella Bergmark. I'll tell you what, Jared Elliott said, she has become such a significant part of this offense early on in the season. She's playing more confident than she ever, ever has. She's hitting almost 400 so far this year. Couldn't agree more. Last year coming in more as a blocking specialist. This year her arm is very quick. She's really whipping, getting to that ball. Seems like she and Swindle have a good connection going. Elena Kana. In the middle, Riley Raider. And Ohio State has charged right back into this match. Jan Flynn Oldenburg in her fourth season in charge. 6-1 run right. Texas led by five at one point early on. What are we seeing this shift in momentum due to? Well, both of these teams are running middles right now, which to me means they're passing well enough to run the middles, run any option they want. And that's what coaches want when we do these calls. It's like, what are you going to do to beat Texas or beat Ohio State? It's like, we've got to be able to run any option we have. So right now, Ohio State doing well, capitalizing when they have the opportunity. Charging in from the back is Dot with a dart off halter. And Ohio State has grabbed the lead. Emily Dot. Top five in the nation in kills per set. Just so much power there from the senior. And look at that angle when she hit that thumb down, just cranking that to the sideline out of reach for Texas. Mia Tuman, freshman setter. Battle of the freshman setters here tonight. And we're tied again. Emma Halter, more than halfway to her total Number of aces a season ago, 12 last year as a freshman, seven so far early this season. Hammered off the defender by Skinner. Madison Skinner with another point for Texas. Loving that swing, quick off the net, nice footwork to get back behind the 10 foot line. Coming in with a one-two punch. Not so much topspin on that ball, but kind of a little flat, deadly hit. 
Coming off her best match of the season. Again, 19 kills against Rice. That one catches Laundot up high. Murphy sends it over and ends up with the point. Wow, I love that set. Mia Tuman running. And one thing I just was going to notice is she calmly set the ball, bump set it to her part, her player, excuse me, partner, player, and a nice long reach on that ball. Wasn't the hardest hit we've seen all night, but got the job done. Blockers didn't even go up. Connor reaches for that. And Ohio State going on a run. You talk about the freshman setter, Tuman for the Buckeyes, leading the Big Ten in assists per set. Again, as true freshman out of Swickley, Pennsylvania. Morbitzer serving. Asia O'Neill denied. Raider. O'Neill no stopping her this time. Tied at 12. Great coverage from the Longhorns on that play. And that's such an important key is when your hitter's going up to be there ready to cover because you're just seeing some tall players out here with some great blocking skills. So it's not always going to go down, but if you get that second opportunity, that is the key. Carissa Barnes serving. Hammered by Skinner. And Texas regains the lead. Looks like the ref on back row there. Setter was up, hand crossed above the plane of the net. That was kind of an interesting play from the beginning. Right now, Texas hitting 250. Ohio State 188. Long dot. Diving to keep it alive was Barnes. Quick reactions. Akana saves it. Laundot wow. with the point. Oh my word. Sorry to take over your call there, but that was impressive. <laughs> Coming in just, that was a sharp hit straight down. I mean, started with a soft little tip. Great coverage from Texas. But this rally keeps on going, but Laundot ends it with an exclamation point. You know, talked about all the starters they lost, all the freshmen they brought in, but they still have Laundot. And Skinner answers Texas back up by one. Great vision by Skinner there, seeing two blockers up in her face, and that spot right behind the blocker. Great position to put it in. That one skimmed off of Morbitzer, and it's an ace for Madison Skinner. And with that, we will take a timeout in Austin, Texas, back up by two after the Buckeyes went on a run in this rematch this season. There's no yawning at the Greg, by the way. Yeah. That's not a lot. A late arriving crowd due to the rain for the first time in four months here. After the service error, Ohio State back within one storyline so far, Nicole. Well, as we mentioned before, Ohio State a little bit young this year, kind of rebuilding, but both have freshman setters. So I think, you know, we might see a little back and forth, but working on these connection with their hitters and also coming out and leading their teams on the court, right? They're the QBs of the team running the show. So that's a big adjustment as well, coming from the juniors high school game to college. I mean, that wind up from Lawn Dot. Talked about this team retooling, rebuilding a little bit, but she is terrific as usual. Leading the way in kills so far. Nine underclassmen, five freshmen. The coach, Jen Flynn Oldenburg, this season. That one off Halter and Wenis. Texas out of sorts there. Right now, Ohio State is attacking that side of the court each and every time they go back there. And they're having some success. Had a little, an ace a few points earlier right on the line and now trying to attack that seam between Halter and Wenis. The Austin native, Lauren Murphy. Charging it is Madison Skinner. Well, it seems like they're carrying over that connection from Monday with Skinner just flying high out of the back row. This is a beautiful set coming in, step close, elevating and thumb down. Look at the angle. She just tags the sideline. O'Neill serving. Right 
right side. Barnes is there. When it's got a hand on it. And Long Dot tools the block. And Texas got out to that big lead early, but after that, Ohio State found their confidence here in the first set. Well, Emily Lonzot on the leader on the court and their go to hitter, but she is a big time competitor and will do whatever it takes to win. And she's coming out here tonight off to a great start. They have five aces against the Longhorns a year ago. Again, Skinner. But that was out. All smiles from Skinner. Can't believe it. Uh, Ohio State gets the point. We may see a challenge here. Quickly, we do from Jared Elliott. First of the night. The angle of that hit, it almost seemed like she hit it from the front row. It was so sharp and high. She is really elevating. Well, for Texas, again, the challenge. Skinner was unstoppable coming out of the back row against Rice. From that angle? That angle definitely looks in. Certainly so does. if that's the case, then they would win the challenge, and you do not lose the challenge then. Now, if it went in favor of Ohio State, then Texas would have one less challenge. But from that angle. Wow, Skinner is really doing well from that back row attack. Very impressive. Mentioned how she was sick a few weeks ago now healthy obviously as you can see developing that chemistry swindle and again another look certainly appears they will overturn it and texas does get the point they win the challenge call overturn and you know hats off to these referees out here they're doing a good job the game is so fast that they're just trying to call as much as they can see, and they are doing an excellent job. So glad I don't have to make some of those tough calls. <laughs> Tight first set here in Austin. Texas went up by five early. Buckeyes went on a run. A tied at 17 with Swindle serving. Already has one ace tonight. Here's Chelsea Thorpe off Bergmark. Back to the sophomore, and Bella Bergmark was ready. An elite blocker, in Jared Elliott's words. Well, Bella Bergmark is doing such a nice job. They are so confident with her in the mix, in the middle blocking position, getting quick footwork out there to close the block. Two blocks already in the opening set. Back to Thorpe they go. Halter was there. Redis point Texas really like the angle Wenis came in there a little bit inside on the set got her feet to it and was able to crush that sharp to the sideline what changed out of that last time out because Ohio State went on that 9-3 run they had momentum on their side now Texas back up by two sometimes you just need a timeout to take a breath to regather and to talk it out and that's exactly we know Texas knows what to do they have a lot of experienced players out here still three All-Americans from last year on the court so they've got some great leadership and you just need a breath to take it come out and did a nice job putting it away and the fans went wild and you would think they should be familiar with each other facing each other three times last year but we mentioned all the new faces on Ohio State for Texas you have a few like Wenis as well and some people that have changed positions yes. opposites that are now outsides different sides of the net but Texas right now hitting 364 compared to Ohio State's 148 hitting percentage Longhorns with three blocks compared to one for the Buckeyes. Again, Ohio State trying to snap a four match losing streak. They started off the year 3 0, despite being 3 and 4, still ranked in the top 20. That shows the respect the voters have for Jen Flynn Oldenburg and her squad. And that's one thing she said when we talked to her the other day is that. You know, no matter what the team, she always wants to schedule a tough non-conference schedule. And let's be honest, the Big Ten is one of the toughest conferences in the nation. So after the tough preseason, they're just going into a tougher Big Ten season as well. I think they're opening up with Nebraska, who's ranked number four. So it's not going to get any easier. Get these young 
ex inexperienced players some experience against the, against the top teams and see what they can do. And in six matches against teams currently ranked in the top 10. Okay, here we go out of the timeout. Ellis Swindle serving. Batted home. Oh, what a pancake by Long Dot. Halter. When is charging in with the point. Got a postseason atmosphere here in set number one between these two ranked teams. Well, I'm pretty sure all these fans were here last year for the same matchup. Ohio State wants to come out and get some revenge, and Texas wants to win again. But Halter is doing an awesome job digging the ball. Not only that, but lifting it well and getting it off the net, which gives Swindle some space to set pretty much wherever she wants. Ohio State cleaning up her side of the floor a little bit. Slipped a few plays ago, so here we go. Texas up by three on a mini 4-0 run. Buckeyes back within two. Devin Kahawai has entered the match early on tonight. Sophomore out of Hawaii. 12 kills and eight sets this year. Hoffman serving. Bergmark in the middle. Pushes it over. Oh, what a play by Taylor, but Texas still gets the point. What a nice reaction. Blocked by Ohio State. Bergmark sees it there. Quick reaction. Throws that one right down to the sideline. Bergmark, two kills on three attacks early. And a block to boot. Nakana, 101 career aces, but this is there. Trying to push Ohio State to that end line, try to have them get a perfect pass up to the center. Just going a little bit long. Tubin, the freshman, is a four-time state champ in high school in Pennsylvania. Efficient as usual. Every time she swings, I'm smiling because from covering their games last year to see her come in now and really grow her offensive game, it's just I love seeing players and their growth from one year to the next. And she really is not only a force at the block, but now her offensive game has really elevated. Thorpe, Texas 23 19. Good time for Ohio State to call a timeout, take a deep breath, get back into it, get the pass game going. Both of these teams, you know, want to serve tough because they've got some lethal weapons at the net. So you need to serve teams tough to try to get them out of system. And the hitting percentage is now going in drastically different directions. Texas up to 407 in the first set. Ohio State hitting 100. And leading the way, Madison Skinner, five kills on six attacks. Bergmark, three on four, off to a strong start. Well, they're getting some more variety in their attacks. Ohio State mainly going to two hitters, Thorpe and Londot, really not getting those middles in the mix as we saw a little bit earlier in the match. So right now they've got to get a pass and serve receive and try to get something going. Texas right around their season average of just over three blocks per set. Good for fourth in the nation coming into tonight. And they really do a nice job. Great footwork. They're closing the block. And Ohio State has some heat. So what did Texas do? They came out from the get-go and made them think about it. Got some key blocks on their big go-to hitters. And then it caused Ohio State to get a few errors trying to hit around them. But when you're putting up a solid block and getting those straight down, it makes enough the, the opponents think a little bit too much about what to do. Texas on a 7-2 run. Alter serving for the Longhorns. Longhorns players encouraging the fans to rise to their feet. Here at the Greg Halter. Up to make the play. 
Phillips. That one off of four. Set point on the way. Right now, every mishandled ball by the Buckeyes. Texas is taking advantage of it and scoring right away, whether it's a little block over or a swing with an overpass. And that's the difference right now. Twenty-four twenty. Six service errors in the set now. Texas Sarasu morbid serve. Serving for the Buckeyes. Set point again for Texas. Off the top of the net. Skinner kept alive somehow. That one is wide. What a what? great up by Ohio State. Just up by a nail, it looked like, but up indeed, and they're not going to let anything drop. Fans here want a challenge. Will not get one. Play on, Morbid, sir. And how about this little run by Ohio State within two? Well, we've seen this throughout this set. Ohio State down a few, then comes back, rattles off a few points. A little bit of back and forth on the runs from each of these teams. And again, starting off with a strong serve. Ohio State has a good hand on the ball, attacking the side of the court for the Longhorns. That They've gotten a few, an ace. Attacking those seams. Back and forth, first set right here. Texas going up by five early. Ohio State answering on the 9-3 run. Texas goes on the 7-2 run. And right when it seems like they're going to finish off the set, back comes Ohio State. Take a look at some of the ranked opponents they've played so far. A couple versus Georgia Tech on back-to-back -back nights. And then Stanford and Oregon. Again, after tonight, they will head up to Waco to take on a ranked Baylor squad. Definitely one of the toughest schedules in the nation for this preseason. And, you know, a lot of the coaches, they want to have tough schedules to get ready for their conference for the postseason so that they're ready to go. And again, with a young squad here at Ohio State, I mean, they're sure learning a lot. Although they're not getting the wins, they're getting a lot of great experience and figuring out what they need to do as a team to, to beat those teams. They're getting a set here and there. Not out of the woods just yet when it comes to facing ranked opponents. Obviously, when you hit Big Ten play, got Nebraska waiting in the wings on the 22nd. And then five days later, a matchup with number one Wisconsin. It is definitely not easy. And across the country, it's the parody. The teams are just improving year after year. There have been so many great matches every single night of the week. I think I'm trying to tune into a different match. And some record viewership numbers as well. So here we go. 24-22, set point again. Morbids are serving. And Skinner. Londa. And it drops in. The Buckeyes within one. Really like that decision from Londot. She really sold it well with a strong approach. Arm cocked back. I thought she was going to rip that one for the point, but sees that spot right open and attacks it. And we are tied at 24. 5 0 Buckeyes run. Back and forth we go. We have seen this throughout the set. A few here, a few there. Right now, Ohio State keeping the pressure on with some strong serves. Texas is not getting a great first contact on that one. So forcing the ball to the outside pins. And Ohio State's able to get some good blockers, good touches on those balls. I mean, it's only early in the season, but it doesn't feel like it here in the opening no. set. Another timeout has been called. Emily Londot now with five kills on nine attacks. Top 20 all-time in program history and kills and blocks. And leading this young group of Buckeyes into Austin. And again, switching from opposite that she played last year now to outside hitter, six rotation. So she's not used to having the passing load, but the last three years, Coach Flynn Oldenberger said, we have worked on passing. So although a player's not doing it maybe in season, 
when you see them, it doesn't mean they're not working on it at practice, but really have focused on that the last three years. And here she is, shifted to outside, playing all the way around, a big part of the passing. And that's another load as a player that she's having to handle this year as well. Again, Long Dot tied for a match high with five kills. Helping the Buckeyes go on this run late in the first set. I expect them to come out of this timeout with another strong serve. That's what's been working for them. Texas needs a good first contact here so they can run the different options, not just get it out to the outside. Remember, got to take the set by two. We are tied at 24. Buckeyes going on a run with Sarah Sue Morbitzer serving. on their feet. Skinner with the point. Set point, Texas. Beautiful set outside to Skinner, coming in quick approach. She's really showing a lot of range. We've seen some sharp, sharp angles. That was a deeper angle to the corner. Six kills for Skinner. Barnes serving for the set. Akana. Long dot hammers one. And looks like Ohio State. All right, we could possibly get a challenge here. Ohio State has all the hands in the air. They will immediately challenge this one. The players argued right after the point that it was touched adamantly arguing that let's take a closer look at this one O'Neill is there what do we see hard to tell looks like from the other angle O'Neill's hands were a little bit late going over but I don't know if it nicked him as she went forward that left finger, index finger there. We've got our usual suspects here, though, watching the replay with us. Maybe we should ask the fans what they think. Well, oh, I know what the fans <laughs> think. That is a close-up look. The ring finger and the pinky of O'Neal. That is a tough one. You see the hand turn back a little. Yeah. It Don't be afraid like to the, make the call looked, here with the fans like surrounding the, you in burn orange. Yikes, I'm feeling a little hot over here now. <laughs> well, Texas won their challenge early on in the set. Obviously, this one crucial. This would be huge. We'd tie it back up and the game would keep going, try to win by two. Ohio State back on the line. If it goes their way. State wins the challenge. If you could see from that extremely close up look, the fingers did move. Regardless, we are tied at 25. What an opening set in Austin. Miami Raiders serving. State now has set point on the way. A 7-1 Buckeyes run. I like the serve, not the BB that we've been seeing from Ohio State, but nice placement in the court and a great press on block. Swindle with the dump out of play, and the Buckeyes finish the opening set on an 8-1 run to take it 27-25. Well, not the most efficient in their hitting percentages, but they served well from the line, and they got some key blocks when it counted. That one out of play. Texas, it's 243 in the opening set. The Buckeyes, 147, and Emily Londot, the Two teams picking up right where they left off at the end of last season in the regional final. A high intensity match again, Texas 
Won all three matches against the Buckeyes last year. The Longhorns 11 and one all time against Ohio State. Buckeyes under Jen Flynn Oldenburg last three seasons regional final regional semi final regional semi again. She's done a tremendous job. An excellent coach, a great competitor. I played against you went up her. Again, yeah, I did for intense, three right? years. We were rousing each other about that earlier today, but very competitive athlete and now coach. And I was so thrilled for her when she got the job at her alma mater. Quick dump by Swindle, just like we saw early in set number one. And that's the dump I'm used to seeing from Swindle this year. It's more in the middle of the court. That last one from the last set, a little bit wide, going for a sharper angle, but. She has good success when she hits the middle. Skinner with one ace tonight. Seven on the season. In the middle, Raider. Barnes is in. Wettis. Long up. Wettis again. Nearly dropped it in, but getting a hand on it was Lauren Murphy. And off the block, Ohio State with their first point of set number two. Surprise, surprise, it's Londot. Well, I think we're going to be saying Skinner and Londot a lot tonight, but I'd like to say a few other names to get them some help on respect both of these sides of the nets to get some players to help them with the firepower of the offense. Londot had 14 kills in each of the three matches against Texas last year. Halfway to that total tonight. When is denied. Again, Ohio State releasing out to the pin, getting a big block up in front of Wenis. Bradley Raider, four-year starter, the quickest middle on the team. Off the ground, excuse me, quickest middle off the ground, coach said. Well, that's a missed opportunity for Ohio State. A nice serve, overpass for them to score a point. And just a little too much going wide. Love that short serve, trying to pull Wenis up and out of the position to hit. Asia O'Neill serving, coming off a three ace performance against Rice. Service error number seven for Texas. Ohio State just won so far. And the Texas serves are going long. They're not going in the net or short, but just a little too much power past that end line. Take a little heat off, take a step back. Skitter. Buckeyes by two. Thought Skinner was gonna rip that one, but saw something different. And I usually if you clear that block, that will go down, so I don't mind the change up. But she has been crushing it from the back row and scoring. Texas hitting 190, Buckeyes 132. That one too far. Devin Kahawai back in the match for the Longhorns. Swindle serving. Saved by Taylor, batted around, and Texas with the point. We're tied. Swindle with a strong serve, causing trouble for Ohio State. And Devin Kahawai in there, putting her in front of Dot. A nice block, trying to slow her down, see if they can stop her a little bit here on the outside. <laughs> Swindle has a nice serve, that one going to the bottom of the net, but normally on top of it, she's very long, gets on top of that ball and it barely clears the tape and kind of goes down as it crosses. Ohio State grabbing a young squad for the most part besides Long Dot, looking rattled at all, not affected by the crowd up to this point. Kahawai, but the dig is there by Hoffman. Bergmark. Chelsea Thorpe reaching for that one is Emma Halter. What a rally, Londot was there. And Texas ends up with the point. Another long rally in the books, but that one mishandled. 
Looks like a double or a lift the ref called. A lot of firepower coming from both sides. Emma Halter laying out, keeping this ball alive. She is really doing a nice job at libero. Automatic energy from the sophomore. Taking on a new role this year in the libero's jersey. Another, you know, different kind of leadership role on the court. Last year coming in as a DS, passing in the back row, but now, you know, leading charge of the defense. Four digs so far tonight for Halter. A kind of serving. Halter again. Madison Skinner with the point in the corner. Loving that attack. Coming in, looking angle, turning her shoulder down the line and tagging that corner pocket. Beautiful, just right by the block. Gave her a little bit between the antenna and the blocker, and she finds it. Skinner and Law got each with seven kills. Brandewi with the attempt, the freshman out of Columbus, Ohio. Well, Brandewi is a nice slide hitter, which means she's going to be running a lot behind the setter. Looks like she was trying to go for the power throw and just put a little too much down on it. 5-1 Texas run. And the dump by the other freshman setter, Mia Tuman. She says, I can do that too. Well, she is one of the most competitive. Coach Flynn Oldenberger said she played every sport, and then she tried track and said her junior year, I think it was, okay, we're going to break the record. And they're like, what? We're not just going to go out and break a record. She's like, yeah, we're going to go out and break the record for the four by one, I think it was. And sure enough, by the end of the year, they did. Tremendous athlete, Bergmark, with the block. And they set her up in the middle. What a dig by Hoffman. Back to Bergmark, takes something off of it. Buckeyes were ready. Halter. Skinner. And the Texas block answers the call. I mean, you're telling me this is preseason? This is crazy. Both of these teams are bringing it tonight. Thorpe going for a big kill here, but Texas has an answer with an incredible dig. And to cap it off, a gigantic block. Hard to get it by that. Each team with four blocks so far. Thorpe, there's another block for Texas. Swindle. Long dot waved at that one. Nothing she could do. Well, Devin Kahawai wasn't sure she was expecting that, but a quick one-two punch at the end got her arm up quick and made the best of it, getting high hands on the Ohio State Buckeye block here. Just enough to score. And Jared Elliott waving his arms in the air, getting the fans back into it. Halter serving. Long dot. Emma Halter. Madison Skinner got it. There you go. It's a good call. Texas is on fire. 8-2 Longhorn. Hustling after the ball. Some huge blocks and a lot of firepower. Halter. Raider in the middle off of Swindle. And the Buckeyes stop the run. Ohio State's 3-4 and four record. Very deceiving coming into this. I mean, I like a lot of things I'm seeing out here. They're getting the middles going right now. Good first contact. Londot, huge factor for them. But again, they're playing the top ranked teams in the nation. Getting better every week. I, I believe every top team they're playing, they're improving the next match. Swindle setting up Skinner with a reach for that. Tries her again. Hoffman with another great dig. To returns the favor. That one is out. Buckeyes back within two, and we saw this in the first set. Texas goes on a big run, and the Buckeyes answer with one of their own, trying to get something going here. Well, and that's going to be the test for the Buckeyes, right? Is 
They can get a set off a top team that's ranked higher than them, but can they sustain an entire match to win it? Two minutes. Kahalai tools the block. The sophomore. Powers that one through. Ohio State not quite over sealing the net, and so that ball rolls down right in the middle of them. Texas fans have been waiting for her to take off. A lot of potential. Top 10 recruit in the nation coming out of high school. With the kill, Barnes serving. Skinner. And again, same situation. That ball going in between the Ohio State block and the net. Those hands are not getting over right now. The last two attacks. So they've got to get that, get there, stop, press those hands over. Nine kills on 20 attacks now for Skinner. Tuman setting up Rayner. Emma Halter diving for that one. Long dive. And Texas with the point. And Asia O'Neill, that's exactly how you do it. You go up, you press over, your hands are over the net. Take a look at this. Back row attack from Ohio State coming in. Asia O'Neill right in front of Lawn Dot. That ball, it's not coming back. Max effort right now between these two squads. Back and forth, Halter with the pancake. But the Buckeyes get the point. I think Texas was a little caught off guard. Wasn't sure that one was up, but don't stop till you hear the whistle. Three nice or four up. Longhorns converging. Yeah, there's Halter. She's really all over getting a lot of nice balls up, keeping it alive, passing well. Morbitzer. Dot. That one bounces into the stands. Texas back up by five. Juan Dot knows a, not a good miss hit on that one, just too wide. Another key is the out of system ball and being able to put it away when you're not getting the perfect set, waiting for it, coming in strong. Juan Dot off the top of the net from Swindle. Skinner, hacked over by Wenis. Off of Skinner, Barnes keeps it alive. Gets a round of applause from the Bird Orange faithful, but Lawn Dot ends up with the point. Well, there's the experience coming in. Lawn Dot sets going over, takes the left hand. Quick look at the court. Oh, it's open over there. All right, we'll just throw it right on over. The savvy veteran, you can see Barnes there, keeping it going. Long dot, eight kills. Skinner with nine for Texas. O'Neill sliding over. Touch off the block, got that outside hand of the Buckeyes. Asia O'Neill has a nice serve. She's always going back there. I remember from last year as well, rattling off a few. Really get, putting teams in trouble. 91 career aces for O'Neill. Long dot, and that is in. So precise. Well, Long dot is doing a nice job. She's getting a lot of sets. I'd love to see Another Buckeye come in and try to take a little pressure off so that she can get some split blocks, some one-on-ones. She has half of their 18 kills on the night. Swindle dumps it over. Quick movement by the freshman. Good placement by Swindle. That ball going over already and yeah, she just yeah. goes with it. Went with the flow, three kills for the first year player. Tense match here in Austin. And the Buckeyes took the opening set 27-25. And Ohio State now within four here in set number two. Texas.
Texas hitting 238 on the night, Ohio State 100. Nice. Pushes it over and it finds the floor somehow. Well, that's a new way to get a kill. A little jump set <laughs> over the blocker. But hey, it goes down, it's a point. Again, a nice, good coverage by Texas. Covering Wenis on the first attack. Lifts the ball up. She did a nice job getting off the net, giving herself some space. You could see Hoffman, the freshman, and Londot, the senior, looking at each other. I would be too. As Texas goes back up by five. Tuman behind her. Skinner. One-handed by Londot. Bergmark in the middle. Really, what a quick arm. She's getting up, getting that arm back, and it's hard to tell where her swing's going. She's just going right around this block each and every time she has a chance. Four kills on seven attacks for Bergmark at a couple of blocks. Texas with their largest lead of the match. Longhorns overall with five blocks on the night. Kana, three aces in her last two matches heading into this one. Hammered home by Kahawai. And Swindle is pumped. There's our, no time, he's not calling a timeout on that one. All Love smiles it. from the sophomore. Well, Devin Kahawai coming off the bench and just making a difference and an impact for this Longhorn team. Long dot the Texas block. Bergmark has been everywhere. Well, Jared Elliott said he has never seen Bergmark playing this free out there. The red shirt senior having a big night, hitting 571 and three blocks on the defensive end. Devin Kahawai, talk about playing free out there. We, it's a tense night, but you wouldn't know it by some of the reactions. No, I mean, I feel like we're in the NCAA tournament right now, the level of this match and the plays that we're seeing. And it's nice to see the growth. Texas lost a lot of key players this last year, but they have players and they have depth that they are using and people are really stepping into these roles and taking charge. Well, Devin Kahawai, four kills on six attacks coming off the bench, helping Texas go on a 4-0 run. Making a difference. When you get that opportunity, that's exactly what you want to do. Earn some more playing time, get your mark out there, and she is doing a nice job putting up a solid block. And again, even not getting a perfect set, but a quick one, and she's getting her arm up high and scoring. Again, the last time these two teams squared off, December 10th, 2022, in this gym, the NCAA Regional Final. The great Logan Eggleston led the way with 20 kills. Emily London had four blocks and 14 kills. This one went to four sets, but ultimately Texas had a season high 16 and a half blocks. That was a key difference maker in a 3-1 Longhorns win, eliminating the Buckeyes. But these are all the players gone from that team, still playing college ball, but elsewhere around the nation. Well, last week they played Oregon, Minnesota. They've got a team photo together with the old Buckeyes. And Coach Flynn Oldenberger said, you know, they're Buckeyes at heart. We're just letting them out right now for a little while. Gonzalez had a big night against them. The other evening, here's Akana, Texas up by eight. And there is an ace for Kayla Akana. 102 of her career. One of the best servers on this team. She hits the spots they ask her to. Coach Jared Elliott said they ask her to put it somewhere. She does it. She is an excellent serving and added so much to on defense as well. Halter. Kahawai. Had the Buckeyes all tied up there. Five kills for the sophomore. 
She's getting the set and she is finding a way with some major power, just pushing that ball right through the block. Nice step close on the right side. Love it. A two Longhorns run. Swindle. Kahawai, and they have no answer for her right now. Well, if it ain't broke, keep going. And they keep sending her, and she keeps scoring. She's getting open. The blockers are not closing on her. So she is finding the seam in the block and putting it away. Right there in between the Buckeyes block, and she's dominating right now. Devin Kahawai on her way to a career night. and keeps it alive. Not for long. Set point on the way. Well, Texas has really stepped it up. This next set bounced back from those runs they got on with Ohio State. And Ohio State has not been able to find an answer for this tough Texas play. Longhorns now on an 8-0 run. Akana serving for the set. Thorpe answers with the point. For Texas, Devin Kahawai has tied her career high, by the way, with six kills. Those six kills coming on eight attacks. Hoffman serving for the Buckeyes. And there it is. Texas takes set number two convincingly 25-13. Well, Texas, that first set was back and forth with some runs. Ohio State came out on top. Texas. Team now, do you think, was the one we're going to see? The one in the first set, the one at 27-25, or the one who lost 25-13 in that second set? Well, I think that's what they're trying to figure out. I think that's what this preseason has been. A lot of new faces. Young players coming in, How are who are we? Who are we as a team? What are we going to be? We can get one set off a top team, but can we do an entire match? And I think we're going to have to see what they can do tonight. Raider, the last second, sent it over and caught a couple of Longhorns looking at each other there. Roasting a marshmallow around the campfire. What guys Wasn't sure take who the was going to take point. it. <laughs> Riley Raider. All-American a couple of seasons ago. Getting nearly 400 for her career. Five kills so far tonight. It's Long Dot with nine. Next best is Raider with five for Texas. You have Skinner with nine. Kahawa with six. And Bergmark and Wenis with four apiece. Raider's one of those players I think could really help Long Dot with the offensive load if they can get a good first contact and get those middles going. Her shot selection she has been working on and has really improved over the last year. Has some good vision, finds the open court. Tied at one. On the night, Texas hitting 286, Ohio State 106. Longhorns with six blocks through the first two sets. A huge key, the blocking for Texas is what's has that 106 for Ohio State. They've really shut the hitters down, slowed the ball down. Charging in is Madison Skinner. And there's the back row attack we saw throughout the first set. Woven in, loving it, bringing it out strong. Nice approach. Seems like they really have that connection going strong. Skinner the first to double digit kills with 10. <laughs> Lauren Murphy, the freshman out of Round Rock, answering with the point. Another player for the Buckeyes that moved positions, moved from the left to the right, so she'll be playing on the right this year. I like that attack. Nice high arm swing to the corner pocket, deep. She also has a great serve. Halter. Wenis off the net, Londa. 
Winnis again. Swindle setting up Madison Skinner. Keeping the options open, not only from the front row, but she is lethal from the back. A nice quick set to the back row. Skinner just really impressive. That connection developing strongly over the last two matches. Long dot, Emma Halter with the dig. Hoffman. Emily Laundot, and that one is wide. Back-to-back -back swing for Laundot. She does a nice job getting off the net so she can get that set again, just cutting it too sharp. And she's trying to have to beat that Texas block. Got to go high hands, swipe it off out of bounds. Texas up by three. That set looking a little short. I liked Eloise Brandewi trying to swipe it off the block, but just a little too much, missing the blocker's hands. Crowd feeling it now. Swindle has one of four Texas aces on the night. Londot calls for it. Wettis nearly dropped in. Jenna Wettis got all of that one. Well, Texas capitalizing every chance they get, and Ohio State again, seam open in the block. Block isn't closed. Wettis finds the open spot and puts it away. Texas. Right now, I think a timeout might even be good. I know it's early in the game, but just seems like a little bit fast. Ohio State. Not on their mark. Uh, Longhorns were carrying the momentum over for that last set going on a 4-0 run moments ago for that Buckeyes point. Long dot nine kills and six digs on the night. Wettis tooling the block. She's got six kills, tied for second on the Longhorns tonight. Well, it's not just Madison Skinner. Wettis, Kahawai, Bergmark contributing for the Buckeyes. It's been long dot with nine kills, and after that, the next closest Raider with five. Chelsea Thorpe wide, Texas 5-5. Five five. And now what's the discussion in the Buckeyes huddle? They have got to get a pass. I think they've got to slow things down here right now. I mean, I was counting here, we've got four freshmen on the court right now for the Buckeyes. So, you know, brand new faces coming out, playing against Texas national champions from last year. In their gym. Skinner, she's just been unstoppable for the last two matches now. She really is, not only from the front, but the back. She's also passing well, adding to that great passing game for Texas, but Ohio State really needs a beat right here to figure some things out. And they will take a breather right now. Time they are, Texas's block is slowing down their hits, so getting chances to score in transition and really capitalizing. Ohio State needs to turn it around right now. Get something going. And the halter. That one off of Skinner and Brandewi, a freshman out of Columbus, Ohio, with the point. And here's the thing. We can talk about them having a young team, freshman. That's a big part of it, too. But at the end of the day, when they're playing these top teams, getting a set off, or losing to Stanford, Oregon. What are they learning and how are they playing after that? There's a lot of lessons to be learned for a team to take on to the next. Well, there's a lesson learned by the Buckeyes on how not to defend Bergmark, who's been tremendous. Well, Bergmark is slinging the ball past the block. 
Side to side angles, really impressed with her offensive game and how it's been elevated. Hitting 625. Long dot hammers it too far. That seemed a little bit of a frustration hit there for Long Dot. Yeah. Not a full approach standing. But the bottom line is, no matter what, you still need to come out here and compete. So how is Ohio State going to do that? Right now, they're not passing this ball well and serve receive. So not able to run any kind of offense. But still need to go out there. They're still hustling to keep the ball alive. Long Dot with 27 attacks. Attacks most for either squad. Nine kills on the night for the All-American. Okay. Trying to get her club back in it. That was a sharp angle hit with some power. She's capable to do that, to step in, to bring some offensive power and points for this Buckeye team. Here's Mia Tuman, the freshman setter. Asia O'Neill. It ended up being too much. Haven't called her name too much tonight offensively. Comes up with the point. And again, one blocker up. Asia O'Neill going up, trying to get that ball by one. Good vision. She gets up so high in all of her swings. Love watching her go behind on the slide. Texas she as a team hitting 329 on the night. They came in hitting 236 on the season. <laughs> 11th service error. Morbitzer serving for the Buckeyes. Ohio State with three aces on the night. Two men in the middle. That one off of Halter. Too much from Riley Raider. Well, that block slowed Skinner down and popped it up perfectly for the coverage. And those are the opportunities Ohio State needs to get more of those to get back in the rhythm and get some points going for him. The Buckeyes looking for another run. <laughs> Murphy. Too far. A little under that ball, not quite on top of it, took off. Buckeyes hitting 086 right now. Twelve service errors. We have twelve errors, you know, they're going from it from the line, and again, another long one. So mainly I think those have been the missed serves from Texas tonight are going long. Take a little off. Swindle setting up Lennis and it finds the corner. She's done that a few times tonight. Good vision. Two men coming in for the short ball. Middle back defender not quite there, able to run that one down and a quick throw to the corner. Wenis with seven kills now, second most on the team. Long dot. Long dot fired up, trying to bring some heat for her team and get them going. Had six kills in that first set, kind of quiet in the last one, but as you said, now trying to get going again. Well, you got to keep that energy going. Keep people up. You get a kill, even if you're down, you just got to fake it until you make it. Get the get the flow going back to your team and get, get it up. Murphy serving. Bergmark again. Bella Bergmark now six kills on nine attacks. Well, right now, Texas passing well. They're able to run whatever they want, and the Buckeyes are not getting two blockers up in front of them because they don't know where the ball's going. Bergmark coming in, going right down the seam in between the block. 
hit 357 a year ago. Bergmark is everywhere. And again, that pass, a shank dig, that's really all the Sutter can do is lift that ball out of system, out to Londot. So Texas is able to release, get two blockers out there. And yet again, another Longhorn block. Bergmark on the season, the team leader in blocks and hitting percentage. Wenis, another kill. Texas pulling away now in the third. And here's the thing for the Buckeyes. The ball does not have to be perfect on the net at this point. You need to get the ball up around the 10 foot line. You can still run the middle. You can still run the outside and back, but try to get it not so perfect because that's what's getting them into trouble right now. Well, for Texas, this one looking like the last set as well. Well, the Longhorns took that one convincingly. 25-13 up now by eight as the timeout is called. How about Emma Halter? and around everywhere there defensively for Texas. 14 digs on the night. She is all over the place, and that one looked like a little elbow dig, but she's keeping the ball alive. I love her presence out on the court. Seeing, in her, seeing her in the libero's jersey, defending, fired up. She is one of the hardest workers on the team, really mature player. And Back in action tomorrow night, playing host to number 11 Washington State, who took down Baylor last night in Waco. That'll be Friday, 7 p.m. Central, right here on LHN. So far in the third set, Texas hitting 588 with zero attack errors. That's some clean volleyball. Longhorns hitting 345 on the night. Londot, meanwhile, trying to rally the troops. Texas on a mini 3-0 run here as the timeout concludes. Swindle serving for the Longhorns. Hoffman heading to that one. Another attack from Longdott, and there is Emma Halter. Orbiter with a nice play. Swindle behind her, Kahawai. Looks like a net from Texas, a little too tight on the block. Arm hit the top of the tape. Buckeyes, mid seven as we get another look at Kahawai. Oh, I guess yes, on the attack. Excuse me, I said the block, but following through on that swing just tags the top of it. Window. Bergmark is just unreal. Every time they go to her. She scored on that one, tooling the block. Ohio State not pressed over those hands over the net, but a little bit off the net. And that's how Bergmark was able to tool that ball off to go out of bounds. I remember a couple of seasons ago, she had the fourth best hitting percentage in the entire Pac-12. That's right. Tonight she's hitting 700. Thorpe with the point. Started off with a clean pass, and Ohio State looks a little bit deep. These balls are falling short, but able to get under that one in a sweet set out to Thorpe. Trying to get some energy going here on the Buckeyes' side. Madison Skinner again, the block there. Bergmark pats it down. Alter. Skinner with the reach. And gets the point. Kill number 13 for Skinner. Well, that's the play right there. We have a great rally. Ohio State doing a lot of good things during the rally. But then that last contact overpass, and that is where Texas is making the difference right now and capitalizing as they're crushing and getting that ball down. That was a chance for Ohio State there to have another chance in transition. Priceless reaction from Skidders at 281. Here is Emma Halter. And there is an ace number five on the night for Texas. First for Halter. 
I know I sound like a broken record, but the serve game right now, serve receive game right now for Ohio State, not their best. Twenty one eleven. Again, they've got to get that pass going. Just get it up in a decent spot for the setter. Doesn't have to be perfect. And now for your Ohio State. A little bit rattled right now to be expected. So many freshmen in a hostile environment. Well, at some point here, 21-11, if I'm a player, I'm thinking, okay, we've got nothing to lose right now in this set. Take a layer of pressure, nerves, whatever is going on, and just forget about it. Come out here, play, have fun. Just play volleyball. They've trained hard. They know what to do. Chelsea Thorpe, Asia O'Neill was ready and waiting at the net. Scramble play here for the Buckeyes. You can see Texas is just waiting there on the outside. They're already there before the set's going because they know how to system going out to the pin. Texas with eight blocks on the night and another dominating set for the Longhorns. Long dot. O'Neal. A bit too far. Looks like the fans want another uh, challenge. If Jared Elliott is walking over there and reaches for the green card. The fans get their wish. Texas is one for one on challenges tonight. 1-1 one, one back in the first set. Let's take another look. Going for that deep corner and of course the top of the tape is right on the end line there. <laughs> it's a better vantage point. Ooh. Oof. You can the Ohio State Nicole Fawcett assistant coach standing right there. You know we have fans here it's reading tough. your face looking at your reaction as you watch the replay. I'm tricking them don't worry. That one appeared to be out we'll see what the end result is. Let's spin it around one more time regardless Texas in control in this set. Remember it was Ohio State taking the first one. Rallying back after trailing late in the first set, they finished it off on an 8 1 run, taking the opener 27 25. Was there a touch at the net? Doesn't look like it from this angle. And in fact, the ball was out. So Texas now one for two on challenges. So now they have one challenge left. So they will lose one since they didn't win that challenge. But still have a nice lead here to get a pass. Ohio State, they got to bring some of that tough serving from the first set into this one. Yep, Tuman trying to get something going late here in the third. Kahawa. The play continues. Ohio State coaches up in arms. Window. Madison Skinner! Looks like the Ohio State coaches think maybe a net during that play. You can see the assistant coaches want Coach Flynn Oldenburg to get the challenge card out. And a discussion ensues. Jen Flynn Oldenburg had the green card handy and is issuing a challenge. Another chance for them to regroup right now during this time while they take a look at it. Thinking it hit the antenna possibly is what I can just read from here that they it hit the side of Texas. And we'll take a look. Different angle. Comes down, rolls in the net. 
Kind of looks like a little lift there from O'Neill. But... Buckeyes coaches immediately with their arms up in the air arguing that one. A couple of challenges here late. One by each squad in the third set. Ohio State somehow trying to hang around. Going straight down Texas, right into the net there, in between the block and the net. Players are calling for, looks like Raider there lifted her hand like she wants a lift to be called. But even if the whistle doesn't blow, you think it's something you still got to keep playing no matter what. And the review has concluded. And the call stands. Twenty three twelve Longhorns. And this one nearly identical to the last set. Well, we were wondering which Buckeyes team would we see come out in the third the one that won the first or struggled a bit in the second again a learning experience for this young team. Well, we know they're capable of playing the way that they did in the first they squeaked that one out but had some nice plays. All around. They get the point. This set, the Buckeyes really struggling with serve receive, and that's been a huge difference. They can outrun their offense and get things going. Texas with six aces on the night. Buckeyes with three. Another delay. They continue to clean the floor here. It's been an issue all night long. There were a lot of fans that came in soaked from all that rain. Maybe it's dripping down. Humid night as you said. A lot of storms late arriving crowd here due to the weather. But they still show up. Filled up nicely. In the end, Morbitzer. Madison Skidder killed number 15 after her 19th kill performance against Rice. Set point on the way. Skinner hitting 314. And serving for the third. Not quite yet. So loud in here with all the fans, they couldn't hear the whistle. <laughs> okay, here we go, for real. Again. And that one just out when it's once a touch call. I was even giving you the touch sign because I thought that looked like a touch from up here as well. But Jared's just saying no. Nope. Next play. Hey, he almost motioned, I believe you, but we're gonna save but it. But Wenis doesn't want the error. Yeah. <laughs> Raiders serving. Set point again for Texas. Wenis waits for it. Barnes, Swindle, and there's your set. Texas takes it 25-14. Wenis has got that down the line, soft shot, nailed down, and she's two for two. That's the set. Oh. We spoke with Coach Jerry Elliott. They had some changes of schedule, some TV games moving here, moving there some injuries, some sickness. So now, you know, everyone back getting those reps in. And honestly, the practice reps is crucial in the preseason, especially with a new center, new faces. Makes a big difference. Murphy serving to open up the fourth. And it misses if you're Jen Flynn Oldenburg. What do you need to see out of your team in this set? Ohio State needs to pass the ball. They need to get a good first contact. And like I said earlier, it doesn't have to be perfect, but it needs to be up that the setter can be able to set some middles and move the ball around. Because right now, Texas is releasing their block and just camping out on the pins. Swim 
Ito. There's Long Dot. That one off of Barnes Point Buckeyes. Used to seeing Londot cranking an angle, but comes in and cross body, turns that down the line, attacking the right back position. Eloise Brandewee serving. Another one of the five freshmen on this Buckeyes team. O'Neill sliding over with the point. Love that back slide attack. Getting up high off of one foot. Waiting for it. Perfect timing. And again, just smashing that one right down the Buckeye block. Not pressed over the net. Finds a spot. If you're Washington State, waiting in the wings, scouting this one out, getting ready to take on Texas tomorrow night, what are the thoughts that come to mind? Well, I wondered if they might even be here watching it. I've been looking around for them, but I don't see them unless they're wearing Texas gear in disguise. But they've got to come out strong. You know, Washington State is having a great season. They're off to an awesome start. It's going to be another tough match in here. This place is going to be on fire. But they've got to come out strong and attack the block and be able to get around and score because Texas blocking is on fire. Emma Halter. Uh -oh, looks like swindled down. Under the, not sure what happened there. What guys go up by one. Looks like in the net, but then fell over. Hopefully she's OK. Seems to be. Two men serving for the Buckeyes. The dig joust at the top. Hoffman. Later waits for it. Off the block. Halter. What a play by Emma Halter. New career high in digs for the sophomore. Tapped over. And the point by Zaria Ragler, the sophomore who's come off the bench here in the fourth. All right, Ohio State putting in some fresh faces, looking for a little change in their mojo for this fourth set. And you know, when you have, I went to Minnesota, played seven freshmen on the team, there are going to be some growing pains. So they're rebuilding the program, playing tough, te tough teams. This is one of the toughest preseason schedules, I think, in the nation that Ohio State has. What's the toughest adjustment going from high school to college? Well, first of all, the speed is way faster. So being able to get that eye work down, figure out where the ball is going, especially as middle blockers, it is a different game here. Much more physical. You can't just rip the ball every single way. You've got to figure out ways to beat big blocks like Texas is putting up tonight. Well, guys, by three. Wettis with the point. Jenna Wettis up to 10 kills. Mixing in her hard hits with those throws down the line. Keeping Ohio State guessing on what she's going to do. And the key is to come in strong every single time on your approach so they don't know what you're going to give away. Kahawai back in there for Texas. When it's getting set. And that one is in. Pinpoint accuracy tonight from the junior Wenis. Doing a nice job moving the ball all around the court. And Emma Halter with a sweet set. Nice lift for Wenis to get her feet there. Perfect placement, turning that down the line. They're giving her the line. She's finding it with that strong shot down the line or her hard attack. Wenis hitting 286 on 28 attacks. Longhorns on the night hitting 315, well above their season average. Hammered off the block. Kahawa, I wanted that one. Oh, yeah, those ones you just want to smash down, but good. <laughs> Raider right in front of her, pressing over. A 
from Lee Londot. 34 attacks, 12 kills, and eight digs for the senior. Bergmark punches it over, and it drops. Oh. That ball has to be aggressively taken by Ohio State. They cannot let that happen, especially with Texas playing the way they are. And Ohio State's made some adjustments. We saw Riley Rader in the middle of the previous sets. Now she's actually playing on the right side. Buckeyes so still up by one. There is Rader. Seven kills and three blocks. There she is. Akana. Skidder hurries, pushes it over. Raider off the block, and the Buckeyes back up by two. Well, no matter what happens here, it's a nice response by this young Ohio State team down two sets to one. And I think that's what they're figuring out. Where are the pieces? What are we going to do with our players? Where do we have the best fit, the best chance of winning and being competitive? So we can see in this set, moving the pieces around a bit. Hoffman. Bergmark. And the Buckeyes back up by three. That set going over, Swindle tried to save it, but broke the plane of the net as she is in the back row right now. So she has to stay below the net, the top of the net, excuse me. It would be a little bit low if it was under the net. Hoffman serving again. <laughs> Service error number six, eight, six. <laughs> Emma Halter, two aces on the night. And a career high, 20 digs. And absolutely put down by Skinner, who was just waiting for it to come down. 16 kills on the night. Nice pop on the ball here from Halter. I feel a controllable pass. It didn't need to be over. Need to take some off of it. And we are tied at eight. And again, Londa in a new role this year of passing. They're attacking her right now. She has not been in the passing plan the last years. But right now, just passing a little bit too tight. Got to take a little bit off of it. Keep that setter off the net. Another packed night at Gregory Gym. Official attendance, 4,433. O'Neal tools the block. Smart O'Neal going up high hand, sees the block, and on her way down, kind of swipes that past down the net of the Ohio State block. Six kills and four blocks for O'Neal, Texas, on a 4-0 run. Raider. Brandewee with the point, the freshman. Brandewee feeling the two Longhorn block up, just a nice touch behind, finding the open court. And now with her in the middle and Raider on the right side, you can see they ran kind of a slide quick back while she was there. Or excuse me, that's Murphy running a quick little slide set back to her. She's got some fast tempo options in the front row now. Both teams hitting better than 300 in this set. O'Neal, Akana. Ohio State jumps back in front. Well, for Jen Flynn Oldberg, this is the response she wanted to see. After losing the second set, 25-13, and then the third, 25-14. But tied once again here in the fourth. And I think they've had success, Ohio State, when their service pressure is good. Other things seem to be going well, so they need to pick that up a little bit. We saw it in the first set, kind of died down in those next two. Akana reaching for it. Skinner with another point. 17 on the night. Well, even when Texas is out of system, 
And it didn't look like it was out of system because it was a nice set, but meaning their setter is not the one setting it. Someone else is, they are doing an excellent job lifting it up, getting it out to the pins and giving their setter, uh, hitters a great chance to score. And that one is in, Lauren Murphy. Back and forth. Fourth set here. Murphy, the Austin native, third on the team in kills tonight with seven. Diving for that one was the senior Lawn Dot. Skinner met at the net by the Buckeyes. 12 11 Ohio State. Ohio State playing a little cleaner. They look a little not as frazzled as the last set that we saw. I think the serve receive kind of got them off, but passing better this fourth set and just all around seems a lot smoother. Brandon Wee, the team leader in blocks, is just a freshman, came up big there. And again, they continue to dry off the floor and ready to go. Buckeyes hitting 400 in this set, by far the best set offensively. On the night. Skinner now one kill shy of tying her career high as a Longhorn. I think Hoffman from Ohio State thought this one was going long, ducked out of the way, but. Another laser beam right to the corner. 42 swings for Skinner. Long dot trying to answer, unable to. It seems when Long dot's going for that angle, her hand, she's not quite getting a hand and thumb down on it to get the spin to get that ball to go down, but going pretty wide outside the court. Texas with six aces tonight. 39 and seven matches on the season. Swindle over to Wenis. Long dot hammers it into the block and out of bounds. Ohio State answers back. A good turn on that attack. She knows Texas has put, been putting up a huge block this entire match, and she's finding ways to score and to beat it. 13 kills and nine digs now for Londot. Now that one misses. Asia O'Neill, six kills and four blocks on the night, getting ready to serve. Tumen reaching for that one and getting the point is Ragler, the sophomore. What a save. That ball looks like it's coming over. Tumen made a huge save, gets that ball back, and Ragler, smart placement with the ball, making the best of that situation. The Texas may have thought they were going to run away with it after the previous two sets. Not the case at all. Ohio State with a strong showing here in the fourth with a match on the line for the Buckeyes. Bergmark taps it over. Hoffman. Madison Skinner with a nice play defensively. Back to Wenis goes Texas. Longdot getting in position. Long dot and gets the point. Well, Ohio State made an adjustment. We've seen Wenis go for that tip down the line and be successful. And now Ohio State is covering that great pickup for them to get the score. We got a set going here in the fourth. Buckeyes up by one. Texas leads it two sets to one.
competing. They said, hey, we've got nothing to lose right here. We, those last two games were not our best. Let's go out there, take a pressure off, and just play volleyball. And they're playing a lot more free and light, it feels like, just from watching up here. Charging in Madison Skinner, and she has now tied her career high as a Longhorn with 19 kills. Again, attacking from the back row. Something we didn't see as much the last year because she wouldn't always play back row, but really added this into her game this season. Hitting 300, better than 300 on 43 swings. For the Buckeyes with the point. You know, you talk about them playing freer out there, looser during the commercial break. There were a lot of smiles on the faces of the Buckeyes. They looked pretty relaxed. And again, up by one now here in the fourth. Long dot. Raider off of Birdmark into the band. Well, and I think the second and third set, again, the passing broke down for the Buckeyes. They seem to have gotten that under control this set, and it really changes the game. They're able to run the middle, run any set they want when you're getting a nice pass in serve receive. What a response by the Buckeyes here, up by two. Texas calls timeout. Obviously, in years past, it was Logan Eggleston being the leader. Who do you look to now in the huddle to kind of rally the troops? Well, on the court, it looks like Madison Skinner's taking the lead. Akana's down there in the bottom, talking away. I think they have a, lo have a lot of great leaders and culture throughout this team. Some experience coming back from last year's championship team. A lot of career nights so far. Madison Skinner we mentioned tying her career highs a long board, 19 kills. Devin Kahawai tying her career high, and Emma Halter setting a career high with 20 digs but all that matters right now is they're down by two here in the fourth they took the last two sets 25 13 25 14 the buckeyes rallied late in the first set to take the opener 27 25 and here we go in this set the buckeyes hitting 393 texas 250. Well, and the Buckeyes made some personnel changes as well. They moved middles to right sides, put in a new player here with Ragler, and it seems to be working. Different look for Texas, and also just a little fresh look for the Buckeyes as well to get some things going and see what they can do. After this matchup against number 19, Ohio State, Texas back in action tomorrow night against number 11, Washington State at 7 p.m. Central right here on LHN. So here we go, timeout over with, Londot serving. For the Buckeyes, she's had a busy night, 39 swings, 14 kills, and nine digs for the two-time All-American. Birdmark in the middle, off the net, and off of Hoffman, Point, Texas. That hits the tape, you're going one way to dig it, hits the tape, goes in a different direction, really can throw you off. But Bergmark is having a stellar night offensively. Still with zero errors. Bergmark up to nine kills, hitting 692. Texas within one. Diving in with Swindle, but unable to save it, and the Buckeyes go up 18-16. They refuse to relinquish the lead. Well, and that's what you want to see from your team. Didn't have our best second and third set, but bounce back and are out here still competing, right? That's all you can ask for is you're coming out and competing. You're not giving up, but you're coming out, playing as hard as you can for every single point and just taking it one at a time. Hoffman getting some direction as she's ready to serve. Leaping for that one was Kahawai. Bergmark in the middle, Hoffman. Skinner. That's a new career high as a Longhorn for Madison Skinner with her 20th kill. More importantly, Texas within one. 
Ohio State getting a hand on these digs, but they're going straight back over, giving Texas a chance to make this play happen. Long dot. 1917 Buckeyes. Long dot loving that set from Mia Tuman, giving her the props. I'm sure they've been working on that as well as she's a freshman setter coming in, running this offense. And uh, one thing Coach Flynn Oldenburg said is Londot can clean up any set she gets. So whatever she gets, she's getting there and getting her feet there and making the best of it. Skinner there with the block. Batted over. Madison Skinner, another kill. 1918. Skinner is getting up there, and she's hitting right over the block at this point. Right now, just crushing it by. Ohio State didn't get the middle blocker out there, so she's hitting that seam. What a night. Skinner with 40 kills combined in her last two matches. And again, they'll work on the floor a bit. On the Buckeyes side. Carissa Barnes serving. Swindle, Skinner. even at 19. And the fans now rise to their feet. Ohio State had been preventing Texas from going on a run in this set. Halter. Skinner with the point. Texas jumps in front. Court, getting it up, great vision, great spots in the court, and Skinner is just terminating every single set. Emma Halter, what a play. Career high 21 digs, Madison Skinner. Now two kills shy of her all time career high. Going back to her playing days at Kentucky, Texas on their first even mini run of the set taking the last three points, and they have jumped in front. Definitely a leader out there on the court for the Buckeyes. And here we go. Texas up two sets to one. They've rallied back here in the fourth to take a one-point lead. This place is rocking. Nice play. Madison Skinner at it again. Well, the Swindle Skinner connection is a hot one tonight. Ohio State started off with a shaky pass, free ball, and Texas pounces on it. O'Neal fired up. 5 0 run. Ella Swindle not only has been having great connections tonight, but really putting up a solid block. 6 3 on the pin with Asia O'Neal next to her. One of the best blockers in the country, and they are just putting a wall up here tonight. Texas with nine blocks. And the impact players on the evening, Madison Skidder, 23 kills. And on 48 swings, she's still hitting 375. 
That's awesome to be above 300 when you're the go-to hitter, keeping those errors down, very efficient. And a lot of times having two blockers in front, she is finding a way. And I can't remember the last time she's gone up high hand. She's going inside the block angle, going down the line when they give her even a sliver and finding the court. What a match. Intense action early on here in the season. Again, the Buckeyes came in trying to snap. Four match skid, some Longhorns alumni in the house taken in this one. It's a good match to catch in person here at Gregory Gym. That's for sure. A little added pressure maybe town. with some with some big names here watching for Texas. Absolutely. So if you're Ohio State now, you're trying to keep this night going. You had control for a good chunk of this set. You've allowed Texas to go on a 5-0 run. What was said moments ago in that huddle? I think they've bounced back from set two and three. They're playing better. Now is just the break to try to break Texas' run right now with the serving game. Get that pass up and try to get out of this rotation. Barnes serving. Back to a two-point set. Ohio State needs to close that block. Get out. Skinner is on fire right now. Try to slow O'Neal down with the slide. Got two attackers here, front row for Texas. Halter. Swindle. Barnes. Free ball for the Buckeyes. Emily Laundot, and that one is in. One point set. Hold on, they change it. I'm going to guess the card's coming out for that one because that was a, yeah, that was a. An immediate challenge by Jen Flynn Oldenburg. I do like that swing from Lonzot, and I'm telling you that ball's in, yeah. in my opinion. From up here, seeing it live, and now from the replay, I gotta go with. In. There you go. You want me to tell the fans over here now? Yeah, that's up to you. <laughs> Needless to say, a crucial moment in this one. Again, this has the energy, the intensity of a match you would see in December. They Closer have the look. history from not long ago. Mm -hmm. One more vantage point. Ohio State definitely bounced back, playing much better this set. And I think that's one of the things they need to figure out as a team to kind of get those highs and lows under control and how can they maintain for an entire match the level that they want to play at. Call over turn. Buckeyes win the challenge. Back within one instead of down three. Lauren Murphy hailing from Round Rock. Serving for the Buckeyes. Asia O'Neal with the point. That was some major hang time and a quite a throwdown for O'Neal. Got on top of that ball and just put it to the ground. Seven kills, five blocks for the senior. Texas getting closer. Skinner. Long dot. Two Longhorns collide. Emily Laundot answers. 23-22. And those are the points Ohio State needs. They get a free ball, they have to score. Right now, neck and neck, they weren't doing that the other two sets, but really cleaned that free ball up. Those first contacts and transition plays. 
And that's been a difference for them this fourth set. Feels a lot like the first set. Kamaya Gibson, sophomore serving. Wenis. Long dot denied by O'Neill and the Longhorns. Match point on the way. Here we go. That one's in and we play on. Rolanda's really attacking the angle right now. The last few swings. I would think Texas might adjust a little bit on the block. Try to cut that off. Although we have seen her turn it down the line as well. So she is capable to move the ball around. But still in the front row. So I expect Ohio State to be setting her the ball again. Match point again for Texas. Swindle. Skinner. There you go. The Longhorns take it three sets to one. What a fitting end for Madison Skinner. She ties a career high with 24 kills on the night. Very impressive play all around. Skinner coming in hot. Love to see her growth from last year to this year. Each night attacking like a champ from the back row. Handling six rotations, passing as well. And I got to say, very impressed with Ella Swindle. Freshman running the offense. Had some great connections tonight with her hitters. Moving the set around to different spots. I'm 
भरिया किया से